Hello, this is Dr. Margaret Ferrante. I wanted to let you know that I'm looking at collaborating with others um, in order to bring to you um, a com more computer-based, um, higher level, not only of information technology, but also medical animation. In particular, my interests are to synthesize information so that medical animation can be used to promote anesthesiology and critical care. Most specifically with um, anesthesiology, I'd like to look at um, the different views on intubating a patient from the, a bird's eye view of the um, larynx and the esophagus especially, um, when the endotracheal tube is, is about to be placed in the correct position. And number two, for critical care, what I'm looking at is developing um, a really um, concise uh, way of describing pulmonary physiology, number one. And there are two categories under that that I'd like to promote. One is uh, ventilation perfusion and ventilation perfusion mismatch, also known as VQ issues. And number two, I'd like to promote the um, analysis of arterial blood gases uh, as far as um, analysis in terms of one, oxygenation, and two, ventilation. Um, second category that I'd like to investigate uh, further on medical animation is cardiac physiology. Um, including stroke volume, uh, pulmonary artery capillary wedge pressures, the use of the Swan-Ganz catheter, um, and other parameters including um, various uh, pharmacological drips and infusions that can be used and also um, watching a particular drug work for a particular set of physiology numbers that are popping up on the monitors that your patients are having. So I'm excited about it. Stay tuned and uh, we hope to make things easier to understand for a more, um, you know, sophisticated audience of um, medical students, interns, residents, and fellows. Um, I think there's enough pretty basic information out there for pre-med students and undergraduates and nursing students, but what I'd like to do is focus on a, um, a higher, um, more sophisticated level of um, understanding so that we can pass on to you that which we've learned. Thank you so much.